So, all right, guys, welcome back. I hope you all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. I actually just got back from my trip over to Seattle to do Thanksgiving with my family. It was a nice trip. Nice to spend time with the family, but the drive over and back was a stressful ordeal. I always have to go across the mountain passes, about 150 miles each direction to get over to Seattle and back. Anyways, I made it over without incident, so that was great. And I had been missing hanging out with you guys, so I figured I had a little bit of extra time right now. I would go ahead and do a story time video that people have been asking me to do for a while since I mentioned it. And that is to talk about the time that I lost 35 thousand dollars in the stock market and we're gonna do that today on indoor smokers Whew. so all right guys excuse me if i'm looking a little bit disheveled but it was a long drive coming back over the mountain passes luckily no snow right now just a ton of rain but anyways, guys, this is a pretty interesting story. So it begins about three years ago. And this was at a time when I was first starting to actually make some decent money. I had the studio open and a few employees. We were doing the indoor smokers, the indoor tokers. I had the channel with my brother that was doing well, the Epic Review guys. So I decided to open an E-Trade account and start putting some money in there. And of course, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I really didn't know much about stocks, especially, you know, not buying, selling, trading. I didn't really know any of the golden rules like buy on rumors, sell on news. But that's a lesson I would learn very well from this event. So I happened to discover at the time that you could actually buy pot stocks. These were companies involved in the marijuana trade. Most of them were up in Canada. And at this time, even though marijuana itself wasn't legal, except of course in certain states, the actual stocks from places like Canada, Colorado, California, which were all legal states at that time, were legal to buy. So I really thought, man, this is gonna be the thing of the future. You know, pot's becoming legal. It's just gonna keep growing. There were rumors that Canada was gonna federally legalize marijuana. So I just started buying buying up these pot stocks, man. Anything I get my hands on, man, I just got hooked on these pot stocks the way most people get hooked on pot. I was buying up any company I could find, basically, that had a stock available. I was buying it up, some of them as little as maybe 25 cents a share. And the amazing thing was that at this time, the pot stocks were just taking off, man, coming in on the rumors that Canada was going to federally legalize marijuana. They had some legislation in the works, and these pot stocks were just growing, growing, growing. So I really thought I was a genius at that time, man. I'm just thinking, look at all this money I'm making. I ended up eventually, maybe over about a year or so, putting $65,000 into my E-Trade account. Now, I'll never forget looking at my E-Trade account and seeing that I was up $18,000 in a single day. So that all just fed into my belief that I was a genius. I knew better than everybody else. Everybody was telling me, you better be careful with this stuff. But of course, I wasn't listening to anybody because I knew better. You know, the most dangerous thing you can be is ignorant and confident at the same time because that's really going to give you that motivation to continue doing what you're doing. A little bit of success sometimes can be a dangerous thing. So anyways, over time, like I said, I had eventually put $65,000 of my own money into my E-Trade account. I saw that thing go all the way up to over $100,000 and man, I was just on a fucking tear. I was like, I can't be stopped, man, trying to tell everybody, just get into these pot stocks, man. I'm making more money off of these investments than I'm making off of my businesses or anything else at this time. Well, we come right up to finally where Canada does announce that they're going to federally legalize marijuana nationwide. The first country to legalize marijuana federally. And these things just kept going up and up and up. So I ended up selling about $10,000 worth of other stock I had in good companies like PayPal, Netflix, Amazon, things like that. Things that are up a lot now from when I had them originally. But anyways, I even sold that $10,000 worth and bought all Canadian pot stocks the night before Canada legalized. Thinking, man, there's nothing else that's, you know, increasing in value at the rate and the speed that these Canadian pot stocks are. This is the wave of the future, you know? So anyways, I've got all this money tied up in these pot stocks. My account is over $100,000. I'm just on top of the world, man, having the greatest time ever and the first day 
that Canada legalized. I believe it was on a Tuesday. I think it was around October at some point. It's kind of like you always remember where you were the day Kennedy got shot. I'll never forget that first day. And I'm expecting to wake up and look at my E-Trade account and see, you know, the shit's up to 200000 I didn't know where it could go at that point. But I'm figuring, man, legalization is finally happening. If all this increase has gone on, you know, just in anticipation of legalization, this is going to be the ticket, man. And I look at my account, man, and I'm down maybe like $5,000, $7,000. And I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? I wasn't too worried about it. I figured they're going to bounce back. Maybe, you know, people taking profit, stuff like that. But I'd mentioned before about that rule that you buy on rumors, sell on news. I didn't realize it at the time, but the actual event of legalization was the news and that is where everybody was seeing that as the peak of these stocks and they were starting to sell. Next day, I'm down maybe seven or eight thousand. Next day, down another five, six thousand. Next day, next day, continuing on. I just watched my stocks go all the way from maybe a hundred and five thousand all the way back down to finally what I had put in, the original like 65,000. And I'm thinking, shit, man, I lost all that profit I made, but it's gotta like level out here at some point. I was wrong, man. It just continued to drop and drop and drop. And man, I just like was in such a freaking depression, man. I'd never been like so anxious and so depressed. Every day, waking up, looking at that E-Trade account, thinking it's going to bounce back and it would just be down another 4,000, another 6,000. I literally went from the heights of ecstasy to the depths of despair in like a week's time, man. It was probably one of the craziest emotional boomerang, roller coaster, whatever analogy you want to use that I'd ever been on. And man, I finally got to the point when it hit $28,000. That's right. I had initially put in 65,000, dropped all the way to 28,000, which is about a $37,000 loss. I mean, if you count it from its high of around 105,000, it was down way more than 37,000, but I was really just counting it from the money I'd put in. So I am seeing a $37,000 loss in about maybe less than a month's time. And man, I got so freaking depressed. I couldn't even open my E-Trade account anymore. I wouldn't even look at it for probably about a year and a half, maybe almost close to two years. I never looked in my E-Trade account. I wouldn't open that freaking thing up. Man, it was just like churned my stomach, caused me so much grief and so much anxiety, man. The first time in my life I'd ever had a little bit of real money and I'd blown it all. And that would be pretty depressing if that was where the story ended. But let me tell you guys, all of a sudden, like a year and a half later, maybe around 2019 or so, I start hearing about Tesla is on a tear. And I remembered way back in the day, one of the few stocks I didn't sell was Tesla. I had 10 shares I had bought after Elon Musk smoked pot on Joe Rogan, if anybody remembers that on his podcast. And I knew, holy shit, man, that shit is going to drop. This is going to be bad news. People are going to think this is going to be like the end of Elon Musk and Tesla. So I got to say, one of the smartest things I ever did was I watched Tesla drop from $300 a share all the way down to $200 a share in a couple of day period. And I bought 10 shares for $2,000 way back when I was buying all those pot stocks. And like I said, that was one of the few stocks stocks I hadn't sold. Well, now I'm hearing Tesla's up to a thousand dollars a freaking share. And I'm like, what? I got 10 shares of that. That's freaking $10,000. Well, then it just kept going. It goes up to $1,500 a share. And then Elon Musk announced they're going to do a five to one split where basically now my 10 shares are going to be worth 50 shares. And in the time before the split, it actually reaches $2,000 a share. So now my 10 shares, that little $2,000 investment I put in was now worth $20,000 and then the, sh the stock split. So at a five to one split, it actually would drops the price back down. So you have the same value in stock. You just own more shares. So the $2,000 price dropped to $400. I had 50 shares at this point. And then that $400 price doubled to $800, putting me at $40,000. At that point, I finally got back in, opened up my E-Trade account and looked, 
and I was back up to about sixty thousand dollars, the remaining twenty thousand dollars I'd had left in those pot stocks, and then that forty thousand dollars I made on Tesla off of the two thousand dollar investment I'd put in. I was just so relieved. After two years, I actually gained almost the entire amount of money back. All fucking thank God to Elon Musk and Tesla. So I was basically saved. I was redeemed, you know, all because of one lucky stock, which does go to show you, you know, you can make a lot of money in the stock market, but you can also lose a ton of money. So when they tell you don't ever invest money, you aren't able to lose. They are definitely right about that. That's something you always need to keep in mind. You don't want to be spending rent money, you know, money for food for your family, things like that. But anyways, I, for whatever reason, man, grace, karma, the good Lord looking out for me, however you want to look at it, I ended up being able to make all of the money back that I had lost, and now my account's sitting at around 60 some thousand dollars and, you know, I did sell some of the shares of Tesla. I bought some good, stable um, stocks. I went ahead and bought some casino stocks. You know, during the pandemic when they were all shut down and everything had tanked, those are doing great. I bought some GM and some Ford. I also have some great um, electric vehicle stocks, NEO, NIO, as well as Lucid Motors, LCID stock ticker, and those have done fantastic lately. Tesla right now is up over $1,000 a share. It's been hovering between about $1,100 and $1,200 a share, which means I'm up even more than that. So now I finally am actually up a little bit above the original 65000 I'd put in. But man, that was a lesson I would never forget. One I can really impart to anybody else that this is a true cautionary tale. Because if it hadn't been for those 10 shares of Tesla stock, man, I really could have been out, you know, what would be a good chunk of my life savings, basically. And so... Since that time, I really have studied a lot more. I did get into day trading a little bit. I joined a day trading group. The head guy was actually a hedge fund trader for 17 years. He had won trader of the year like three different times. So a really knowledgeable person. I started doing some day trading with them. Things have actually worked out really good. I've learned those lessons. Buy on rumor, sell on news basically means when a big event, something that's going to make the company a lot of money, when that is first being rumored or people are first starting to anticipate that, that's when that stock is going to start going up, up, up. But when the actual day comes, the event actually occurs, that is when a lot of your smart investors are going to actually pull out their profits, they're going to sell the stock on the actual event when it happens so don't go into it expecting to buy a lot of shares the night before the event like i did with the canadian pot legalization because that is where you're going to end up losing your ass and i've also gotten into some cryptocurrency recently you know i own some bitcoin i bought that on the big drop when it was down to like 30 32,000 dollars the low it had hit just a few months ago i also have some litecoin which has been doing really well i would have to say one of the um, coins that I've actually done the best with recently is one called GNL, Green Life Energy. And this was a cryptocurrency that launched just about a week ago. So I got in on the first day it was released. I saw it go from a low of 0 0.012, which is just barely over a penny, all the way up to seven cents. So that's a seven time increase in my investment which is basically within a few days of that thing being released and they're actually all about renewable sustainable energy which kind of you know has been the big issue with bitcoin and other coins that you mine is how much electricity and how much energy they actually use that they're very bad for the environment so this is a coin that's sort of future looking trying to take into account the effects that um crypto mining has had anyways their big focus is on sustainable energy things like like that so I thought this is a good opportunity to get in something that could be the new wave of cryptocurrencies and like I said that one has really been probably one of the best coins I have actually gotten in on mostly because you know I just missed the boat when Bitcoin when Ethereum and things like that were really low so getting in on something brand new when it just launches is a great opportunity if anybody is interested in checking that one out I will leave a link to the website underneath if you guys are interested in getting into some investments, of course, do so very carefully. I am not a financial advisor, obviously. The story I told you guys proves that.
that point. But if you guys are interested in putting some money aside, I do think that E-Trade is a good platform. It's something that's been very easy for me. They do have no commission trade, so it doesn't cost you anything to buy or sell stocks on there. And if you're curious, what I do think are right now some of the best potential investments to get into. Of course, you know, electric vehicles, I do think that is gonna be the way of the future. They say right now only 2% of the vehicles on the road worldwide are electric vehicles. And so there is nothing but room to grow for these. So Tesla, I still think can be a good investment, but obviously if that, you know, is around $1,100, $1,200 a share right now, that's gonna be out of reach for a lot of people. But Neo is about $40 a share. That's a good electric vehicle company. Lucid Motors has just recently ran from what I got it at about $22 a share up to over $50 a share. But I still think that has plenty of room to run, maybe even getting into that Tesla type range. So anyways, guys, thankfully my story does have a happy ending. I am a much wiser and a much more cautious investor now. And I do still own some pot stocks, not the original Canadian pot stocks I had at that time but actually some much better US company pot stocks. Companies like Cureleaf, Green Thumb, TerraSend, I really think those are all gonna be great long-term investments, so that's money you would put into these, you know, and it's not something you're gonna be expecting to get a huge return overnight, kind of like the way you could possibly with the um, cryptocurrencies, something like GNL, that is more of a tradable asset, something I would try to make money and get, you know, sell it on the highs, buy it back when it's low again, at the time of this video, I believe the GNL tokens were at around three cents, so they have come back down. Could be a great opportunity to get back into that if you're thinking about getting into cryptos. But anyways, guys, I will just say again one more time, never invest money you can't afford to lose. Nothing is ever guaranteed. There's always an element of risk. There's always an element of gambling involved when you're dealing with the stock market. And let my own personal story be a basic cautionary tale for you guys to show you what can happen in such a short time. And like I said, sometimes the worst thing that could happen is making a lot of money real quick early on because it convinces you that you know what the fuck you're doing even though you may not. I probably would have been a lot better off if I'd actually lost money initially when I started trading. It would have made me much more cautious, you know, in the long run, rather than just dumping all that money into pot stocks when I really had no clue what I was doing. All right, guys, that is my story. That is my two cents, and that is my video. So if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to this channel. Ring that little bell so you get the notifications when the videos go up. And I would love to hear your stories about investing either in the stocks or in cryptocurrency. Did you get involved in any way in those pot stocks prior to Canadian legalization? Please tell me your stories, good or bad, down in the comments. I love to hear them. And I am going to be coming back with um, a new stoned history. I'm going to do some more story time videos. We are actually kind of coming into the slow season with the e-bikes. And of course, believing in the future of electric vehicles is what originally led me to get involved in e-bikes. For those of you who don't know, I do own an e-bike brand and an e-bike store here in the town I live in called Green Motion E-Bikes. I have a YouTube channel where I do e-bike videos as well. Check me out over on Green Motion E-Bikes. I'll put a link to that underneath the video too. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little while today, listening to my story. I will be back with some more videos soon. Until that time, just have yourselves a fantastic vaping day. I'm going to make like an electric vehicle and cruise up out of here. Catch you guys next time. Peace.